Welcome to our channel. We are Technic Force and we help grow your business online. Please hit the subscribe button to get more updates. How to use Google AI Studio for beginners. Hello everyone and welcome back. Today we're going to be taking a look at Google AI for developers, which allows us to build our own customized AI models. Now we're going to be going deep into Google AI Studio, but before we do that, let's take a brief look at the pricing. So there are different pricing models available. Currently, the Gemini 1.5 is free of charge, and as you choose to increase the usage, you pay as you go. So there are two different pricings on it. Then you also have the Gemini 1.5 Flash 8B. We have the 1.5 Pro, 1 Pro, and then text embedding as well. So all of them have free of charge models. And if you're just playing around and testing it out, it is going to be free of charge. And as you scale up your usage, your rate limits are going to go up. So then it's going to be costing you as you go with Google. Now to get started, simply search for Google AI Studio. And if you're logged into your Google account on your browser, then just click on the Google AI Studio. And this will open up the Google AI Studio. You can click on Create Prompt on the left. Then on the top, you will have the name of your prompt. So this is Entitled Prompt right now. I'm going to customize this into Lovely's Essay Builder. Then once I do that, I'm going to click on Save. Now once you do that, you will see there are a few different options within this particular AI Builder. On the right, you have your Run Settings, and these are different. So in your Run Settings, first off, it shows you what model of the Gemini Builder you're using. So you have Gemini 1.5, you also have Gamma, and other builders as well. I'm going to be going with the 1.5 Flash. And here you have your token count. So how many tokens are used for the content generation? Then you have the temperature. So the temperature refers to how close are the answers that the AI model is going to give to be related to the system instructions or the instructions that you're giving. When you turn the temperature down, it means that it is going to give answers as closely related to your prompt as it can. However, as you increase the temperature, the ideas or the answers that it gives are allowed more creativity in the responses. So when you're building your own AI models, you usually want to be as close to the original prompt as possible. Below that, you have structured output, code execution, and function calling which we're just going to close down. And then you also have some advanced settings. Over here, we even have our output length. So the maximum number of tokens in a response that can be used. Now we're going to go into our system instructions. So it says here, optimal tone and style instructions for the model. So I want my AI model to be really long and extensive. So give long extensive answers. Also add a fun fact about the topic in question. Now, once I have provided my system instructions on the bottom, I can actually run these instructions. So for example, if I want to ask, what challenges do small businesses face in the digital age? I can go on ahead and click on run over here. And the model is now responding. And here's the result. Small businesses face a unique set of challenges in the digital age, etc. These challenges can be broadly categorized into several key areas. So here we have three or four key areas. And we have fun fact at the bottom. It says, did you know that the first online transaction was the purchase of a pizza in 1994? This highlights the early days of e-commerce and the rapid evolution of online business since then, etc. Personally, the number of tokens that it took were around 942. Next, I'm going to go on the right over here and we're going to add our output length as 1000, like this. And then I'm going to redo this. So let's edit this one. Also add a fun fact about the topic in any given question. Make the answer six paragraphs long. Let's redo the same question that we have. Actually, let's change up the question a little. So what are the key factors that drive business growth? Let's click on run over here. And once I do, you guys can see it has now provided me with a more detailed answer. 
So fun fact, did you know that the average lifespan of a Fortune 500 company has shrunk from 61 years in the 1950s to just 18 years today? So you can see down here, it has provided me with a fun fact. The answer has been put in six different paragraphs, but it's not as extensive. So I'm going to change this. Let's say give long answers of a certain number of words, like of 1000 words at minimum. Also add a fun fact. And here let's add something else. So the question is, what's the most common reason startups fail and how can it be avoided? So let's click on run. And now you guys can see it is providing me with a pretty detailed and extensive answer. So like this, you can train your own AI models with system instructions using the Google AI Studio. This is going to be especially helpful when you're trying to build something specific. Now, these are just really general questions. I would recommend when you're building your new prompt, and you can see shape sequencer, recipe finder, as well as unit testing. So let's try recipe finder. If you do this, you will see that you can add your own system instructions. So I want to change this and I want to make this lovely lunch recipes. Ramen. And then I'll click on save. Going to the system instructions. So just recipes you can make along with step-by-step -step instructions, additional tips and customization options to fit preferences. So I want to say I have an image of ingredients. Suggest recipe ideas. Click on the plus icon and click upload file to upload your image. Next, let's click run over here. Now the model is generating the answer. We can build our own AI model or own AI tool with a Google AI Studio. They have a lot of other functions. You have your library where it shows you all of the different files you have generated. Then you even have a prompt gallery that can help you in getting started, as well as developer documentation, forms, and API keys. So that was it for today. Make sure to also share this video with your friends and family and to other creators so you can help them out as well. Thank you for watching. See you in the next one. Introducing PeopleBots. PeopleBots is your entire online sales, support, and coaching team. PeopleBots will learn your business and sell, support, and train for you. It can chat. It can even speak to your prospects. It can work 24-7 with no breaks and help you grow your business and get you happier customers. PeopleBots is the advanced AI website chat that your business needs today. It can be anyone you want it to be. It can learn and remember everything. Just give it instruction manuals, your knowledge base, or write a little document that tells everything PeopleBots need to know. PeopleBots help you sell, support, coach, speak. It can even work with human teammates. It will help you get leads, and PeopleBots learn continuously. PeopleBots can spark off the conversation by sending your customer a message. PeopleBots can integrate perfectly with your website's design. It can speak every language. It can also keep records of all chats. Like I told you earlier, you can customize PeopleBot's knowledge and personality, but that's not all. You can create many versions. You can create multiple bots, each with a different expertise and information to integrate on different websites or web pages. It has ready-made bots for you to use. No need to plug in your AI or bring in your API keys. Integrate PeopleBots in any web page in less than two minutes. And a lot more. So what are you waiting for? Get PeopleBots now. Just go to getpeoplebots.in. If you found this video helpful, don't forget to give it a thumbs up, subscribe for more content, and ring that notification bell. And if you have any questions, please leave a comment below. Thanks for watching.